Hi, I'm Richard McKenzie. This video module is going to be concerned with the make or, or buy uh, decisions that all firms have to face. Take, for example, the best uh, motor scooter company. Uh, in order to produce its scooters, it needs tires, it needs, um, it needs dials, it needs seats, it needs uh, uh, many different parts. Uh, it could make all of those parts inside uh, the Vespa company, or it could outsource uh, those parts and buy them uh, from outside uh, vendors. Uh, similarly, it can have internal uh, accounting and advertising uh, departments and essentially make those services itself or it can look to outside uh, vendors. Uh, how can we analyze this decision to make or, or buy? Well we can go to uh, the advantages and disadvantages of, of the make and buy uh, decisions. Uh, in the case of buying the uh, uh, part or service from outside there is the obvious advantage that the firm can always get uh, competitive bids and can potentially get the low-cost uh, producer to provide uh, whatever part or service is desired. If a firm goes to internal uh, suppliers, there's always the potential that the internal suppliers will act like monopoly suppliers and somehow uh, extract monopoly rents uh, uh, in the process. Uh, in going to outside uh, suppliers, though, uh, there are transactions costs. That is, firms must, in fact, uh, find the outside suppliers, uh, negotiate deals with the suppliers, uh, get the right price, and also get the right specifications uh, for the uh, part or service that is, that is desired. And then, of course, the firm must, uh, indeed, uh, monitor uh, compliance uh, with the uh, contracted outside uh, suppliers and uh, suppliers at arm's length or further away, uh, the monitoring calls can be quite uh, significant. Well, in, if the firm decides to make uh, its its part, it has there are certain advantages and disadvantages. First off, if it if it makes its um, uh, uh, parts, its transactions costs with outside suppliers uh, go down. Uh, but then there's the disadvantage that it's monitoring of internal uh, uh, suppliers uh, uh, can go up. And we, uh, in a previous module, talked about how internal and external coordinating costs uh, can uh, determine uh, the size uh, of the firm. And that means that the efficiency with which transactions can be conducted in the market and can be conducted inside the firm uh, can change and, and that can change the size of the firm. The issue that I uh, want to uh, stress in this particular uh, module is this one here about the prospects for hold up uh, or for what we call in economics opportunistic uh, behavior. Uh, the prospect of hold up and opportunistic behavior generally emerges when there is some firm specific uh, investment. Uh, that must be uh, made and that must be uh, after the investment has been made must be treated as a, a sunk cost. 